Han Solo's unplanned hibernation. Oh, the carbonite freeze. Just about one of the most iconic plot twists in The Empire Strikes Back that had every Star Wars fan on the edge of their seat. We're talking about a scene that perfectly captured the danger, tension, and the high stakes of the Galactic Civil War. It also set up an epic cliffhanger that lingered with the audience long after they left the theaters. Seriously, it was one of the oh-no-they-didn't moments in film history. So, how long was the charming rogue Han Solo actually frozen in that block of carbonite? Believe it or not, the movie itself doesn't give us an exact timeline. We have to weave together some pieces of information across films and the expanded universe to nail down the specifics. From what we gather in the movies, Solo was frozen at the end of The Empire Strikes Back and remained that way until he was rescued early in Return of the Jedi. If we reference the Star Wars timeline, that period spans about one year. Yeah, poor Han was a life-sized wall ornament in Jabba's palace for a whole year before Leia and the crew showed up to bust him out. This time frame might seem like a quick freeze and thaw in terms of what the characters experience, but for fans, it was a grueling three years between the film's releases. Imagine waiting that long to find out if Han would ever get his sight back after being hit with hibernation sickness. The nerve, right? Now imagine being solo after being thawed, all the confusion and adjustment, not to mention the realization that fashion hadn't changed at all. Because let's face it, those rebel outfits are timeless. And just for fun, let's remember Han's first words after being unfrozen. I'm out of it for a little while and everyone gets delusions of grandeur. Classic solo, always with the comeback even after being a popsicle. Han Solo's unplanned carbonite nap might just be the worst spa treatment ever devised in the galaxy, but it sure did give us a memorable storyline.